Okay, folks, you asked for it. You're going to get it. The new federal rule to subject good credit home buyers to higher mortgage fees. We're going to go over that. I'm going to give you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the truth. Because on this channel, we provide you nothing but the truth, and we back it up with facts that we're going to put down below in the description. So what's going on with this? You see here that the President Biden appointed somebody that's raising rates and raising costs for those looking to buy houses with great credit and with and they save some money. They have some money to put down. Is that true? Yes, it's true. So what, you're, what you see right here is Sandra Thompson. She was sworn in by President Biden right here as the head of the FHFA, and they oversee basically the mortgage processes and rates and the, the guidelines and everything else. So think they're the, they're the grand poobah of all the mortgage business, okay? Just think of it that way in its simplest terms, okay? What's happening? Well, they're raising rates, and they're raising rates to people that have good credit scores putting money down. And I'm going to show you right here. Here's a heat map, and this is the simplest way for me to show this. Over through here, anything in, that you're seeing on your screen in black is actually green because I have a green screen behind me. Those are the areas that actually picked up benefits. And you're going to see where do those pick up? Well, low credit scores borrowers and higher loan to values. Now, what is loan to value? When you're looking up here, you see 97% and things like that. So this is your loan to value. This is your credit score, all right? What well, your loan to value means is, let's say, take for example, this one, 97% loan to value. That means you finance 97% of the house's value. So that means you put down, you put your skin in the game, 3%. So you put in 3% and you had to finance 97%. So that's what that means. So low credit score borrowers financing more money is getting huge benefits. Who's getting affected? Because there has to be a yin and a yang because society has to be equal to everybody. Well, those that are getting hit are those in the 720, 740, and 780 credit score ranges and those putting down about 15 to 20% of a down payment. So you're thinking, okay, I did everything I needed to do to build my credit, keep my credit scores. I've scrimped and scraped and worked two jobs and everything I could to put more money down. And now I'm getting penalized? Really? Well, all I got to say again, guys, is make sure you get out there and vote. So I want to just show you this on a hypothetical. Well, this is actually the sheets that we see, we see as mortgage people. So let's get over to the, the uh, areas that we're seeing right now. So this is what the matrix looks like today. Okay. So the areas getting most affected are right in this range here, but let me show you by, by the numbers. What you're seeing through here is basically discount points. Okay. How much you would pay to get a specific rate. So let's just say, for example, the rate today is 6%. Okay. So to get that rate, these are some adjustments that would be made to get that rate for you. Okay. So how do we dig into this? All right. Or what is a discount point? Let's say, let's answer that question first. So what a discount point are here, a discount point is, Fees that you pay to actually buy down the rate, okay? What, e what is it? Well, points are calculated in relationship to the loan amount. Each point equals one percentage of the loan amount. So think of a point is 1%. So when you get to this matrix, you start seeing a quarter, you know, one, 125, 150, and so forth. That means this is a quarter point, so 0.25%. So to put it in perspective, if you're buying a $100,000 house, this would cost you 2,500 bucks. This would cost you 500 bucks. This would cost you 1,200 bucks and so forth. Okay, so you get that. Here's the matrix that we're seeing today. It starts at 620, goes up to 740. The difference is right now, the new one's 639 and less. And this goes all the way up to 780 and above. This used to cap out at 740. Now they're wanting people with even more and more better credit. Okay, so that's the first starting point that we have. So the, here's the realm of it. Here's what really upsets me. The ones with cre low credit scores, meaning you were struggling in life, you might have done some things wrong, maybe you didn't, but you all know why you have the credit scores you have. Okay, let's be real. When you go over, I'm going to take my head out of the equation. When you go over to the old scenarios, if you're putting down very minimum amount, so in this case, as a first time home buyer, you only need 3% of a down payment. So you put 3% down, you're going to have an adjustment of 3.75. So buying a $100,000 house, it would cost you $3,750 in points to get that same rate as the person up in here. Okay. Or you get a higher rate. Well, you should get a higher rate. 
Hate to say it that way. What's the new adjustments? So we're going to look at 739 and below. We go over here, 739 and below. What's the hit? 2.25. Hit over here, 325 or 375. Huge differences. Okay. Here's the area that really upsets me. The old, the old criteria is right here, a 740 credit score. That was the top of the heat in the, in the day. Okay. You're putting down 20%. We're going to go right over to here. You're going to have an adjustment of 0.5. Okay. You got great credit and you're putting down 20%. You saved a ton of money. Now, what is it? 740. Well, that's all the way down to tier three. You're putting down 20%. How much is it going to cost you now? 0.875 from 0.25 or 0.5, a, a, a sizable difference. Let's go to 740 at 85% right here. 740 at 85%, 1%. What, what was it? A quarter. So these are the areas you can see. These areas are right here are people that have really worked their butts off and put down a bunch of money and are getting penalized because those with low credit scores looking to put down virtually no money are getting the benefits. So if you think that is fair in our economy, in our society, God bless you. If you don't, all I got to say is please get out there and vote. That's the truth. That's what's going on. And if you're upset, don't be upset with me be upset with the administrations who are putting all this in place. That's all I got for today, guys. God bless. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell every time I post a video, you get an alert. Take care, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.